Imagine catching a glimpse of something that shouldn't exist. A hunk of black rock, wider than a sports stadium, screaming sunward at 134,000 miles per hour. It's only the third chunk of stuff we're sure came from outside our solar system, yet its path looks less like a comet and more like a pre-plotted flight plan. NASA tags it 3i slash Atlas, but a tight circle of veteran planet hunters aren't sleeping because every fresh pixel whispers the same unsettling question. What if this isn't a comet at all? Today, we're digging into the single spookiest open question in modern astronomy. By the end, you'll know why some researchers quietly suspect 3i slash. Atlas may be more than frozen dirt. Why others still insist it's just a weird comet and why both camps keep glancing at the calendar as November 2025 creeps closer. Stick around. There's a twist at the finale that no official memo has dared to mention. Story time. Let's go back to July 1st, 2025. The Atlas scopes in Hawaii snagged a blip none of their machine learning screens were tuned for. One frame, an object already inside Jupiter's lane, already moving faster than any comet logged in the last two centuries. Within hours, observatories on every major continent confirmed it, a hyperbolic orbit slicing through the solar system at 60 kilometers per second. The math is brutal. An eccentricity of 6.14 means this thing isn't even flirting with the sun's gravity. It'll whip around, carom off Venus, Earth, and Jupiter in an alignment that happens once every 200,000 years, then leave for good. Pure orbital mechanics rates that choreography at 0.005%. That tiny percentage has theorists pulling late nights. Hubble swivels over for a closer peek. The frames are grainy, yet they flip the worry dial up another notch. The nucleus seems to land somewhere between 300 meters and 3.5 miles across. That's a colossal range. It hints the thing is either stretched out like a skyscraper or wrapped in a dust blanket thicker than any interstellar visitor has business carrying. Then there's the tail. Normal comets sprout a bright ribbon blown away from the sun. 3i slash Atlas does the opposite. Its dust plume angles toward the sun as if something heavier than sunlight alone is steering the debris. Big chunks, a propulsion plume? Nobody wants to say it out loud. Mid-August, a three-page PDF surfaces deep inside an obscure Slack channel, purportedly an unredacted memo from a JPL Tiger team. Paraphrased, non-gravitational acceleration detected via trajectory tweak. Magnitude consistent with continuous low-thrust emission. Probability of natural outgassing less than 0.3%. The memo's not officially stamped, Yet overnight, every planetary defense inbox lights up. If the acceleration is intentional, the object could be under thrust, ion drive, light sail, something engineered. The last line, scrubbed from every mirror within hours, reads, recommend low profile observation protocols until the November 2025 determination. Q Harvard's AVI Loeb, master of turning a hushed hallway rumor into front page panic, in a paper posted 3rd September, Loeb flags the same non-gravitational nudge. He calculates the energy budget needed to tilt 3i slash a TLAS's hyperbola by even a hundredth of a degree, equal to a one megawatt laser array or an ion engine burning for three months straight. Loeb's careful with wording, not conclusive evidence of artificial origin, yet headline writers worldwide boil it down to one glorious word, aliens. Social media explodes, surveillance probe, refueling pass, kinetic weapon on a centuries long loop. Loeb tosses gasoline in a late night interview. If you wanted to study a tech civilization without being noticed, you'd masquerade as a comet and use planetary flybys for course tweaks. The intercept window shuts November 2025. The clip hits 12 million views before breakfast. 
for every astronomer tweeting alien emojis. 10 more spam the forums with cautions. Sure, the trajectory is uncanny, they admit, but extraordinary claims require extraordinary receipts. Spectroscopy shows only the bland fingerprints of water ice and carbon monoxide. No microwave bursts, no pulsed optical beacons, no artificial radio chatter, nothing breaking the primordial interstellar comet mold. Meanwhile, dynamicists run Monte Carlo models and demonstrate that improbable paths, while rare, aren't impossible. Statistically, given enough comets kicked out of the Milky Way's thick disk, a handful will thread the planetary encounter needle purely by chance. The debate splinters along predictable lines. One camp sees coincidence, the other choreography. Both sides agree on one point. Whatever 3i slash ATLAS is, its final Earth flyby window closes in November 2025, after which it slips forever beyond the range of any probe we can currently launch. Quick break. If you're finding this as riveting as the pros do, tap subscribe right now. I'll drop updates the instant fresh data arrives, and you won't want to miss the live stream planned for Perihelion Day 2025. Here's where fear tiptoes in on silent pause. Suppose Loeb's right, and 3i slash Atlas is neither comet nor dumb rock, but a bona fide alien recon package. The implications are chilling a tech able to coast interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, trim its path with milligy precision, and whip past gas giants for refueling isn't centuries ahead, it's millennia. The scariest possibility isn't hostility, it's indifference. If the probe finishes its survey and phones home, any reply arrives after it's already gone. Humanity's window for a counter move slams shut in November 2025, after that date, the object recedes into the interstellar dark at 57 kilometers per second. We'll never catch up, never parley, never know for sure. The silence following that departure could last centuries. So what are scientists really afraid of? It isn't the statistical improbability of the path, nor the creepy sunward tale, nor even the leaked memo hinting at artificial thrust. It's the possibility that 3i slash Atlas is simultaneously a natural phenomenon and a technological beacon, and that the distinction may stop mattering once it's gone. November 2025 isn't just a calendar milestone. It's the last off-ramp on a cosmic interstate we didn't know existed. Until then, every clear night, at least one telescope on Earth will stay pointed at the black waiting for the next faint flicker from a visitor that may already have finished its grand tour of our neighborhood. And we'll watch, because the alternative, looking away, feels too much like surrender. If you want to be pinged the moment new data drops, hit the subscribe button.